top of the night, people. Y'all already know what it is. Warlord Iron Sheik. 161. It's 2 in the morning. Late night training. The park is empty. Nobody out here. Train hard, fight easy. You know what I'm saying? And you got to do it when everybody sleep. Rest is for the week. When you work out or exercise, of course you need rest. But slumber, laziness, that's for the week. <coughs> so we out here all the time, people. Training, getting ready. So I'm watching the news the other day. And they said Mayor Adams got 21 gun laws passed. I don't know all of the gun laws. I didn't research it. I ain't even bother to look up all that house nigga deviant activities. But a few of the things was you got to be over 21 to get a gun, right? Which makes sense because, you know, um, you got to be over 21 to drink and whatever other shit, get in the club, whatever, whatever. <clears throat> Even though I did I did all that before 21. I did that at 15 in the early 90s. But, um, yeah, you got to be over 21. You got to take psychological tests and all that. They got to see if you fit to have a gun. The psychological testing is like, is, that's called like the process of elimination because black people by nature, like, not all blacks because there's blacks that's colonized mentally. But, like, um... Certain types of thinking is affiliated with certain ethnicities and certain nationalities, certain people from different countries, ethnic backgrounds and stuff like that. The militant minded black people in America, we're very distrustful. You know, we don't trust a lot of people. And, you know, you know, they say we quote unquote conspiracy theorists. And, you know, we are aware of the tricks and the discriminations and, the, and you know. All the funny shit they got going on, like when they do the redlining with the communities and black people can't get in certain communities no matter how much money you got and certain landlords won't accept certain applications and certain jobs won't hire you because of certain zip codes you in and your last name and all that stuff. But yeah, so they said um, you got to take psychological tests and stuff like that to see if you fit to have a gun. But check this, the top store that was shot up in um, Buffalo, you know, um, we know about the man, the black man that was making the water vehicle and all that, and they knocked him off, but they not training them people up in Buffalo, the school teachers and the people in the stores, they not training them how to shoot and be armed and, you know, protect, you know, the environment of the employment but down in Georgia you have an all white school where they training the teachers how to be armed and how to use guns and they teaching them combat training right the way this gun law thing and all these psyops they send it into the community and into different schools to shoot stuff up it works both ways I'm gonna tell you what how it works both ways and what I mean by that the bad aspect, it works as they trying to ban guns and, and limit who can get guns and what and this and this and that, right? But in the quote-unquote good aspect, they're arming white schools, white teachers, white communities. Oh, we're afraid. Oh, my God. We're afraid. They're arming them. And I'm not talking about the militia, militant, rebel, country boy white people. I'm talking about the bougie, the goody goods, the, 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 the law-abiding citizens, those that, you know, agree with the agenda and the machine, the docile, the sheeple, right? They want to arm these teachers, teach them gun training and everything. But in the black community in Buffalo, they, they don't want to train them and teach them how to have arms and guns and stuff like that. The people in New York City who was on the train who was shot up, you know, they don't want to teach the city and different people combat training and arm training this shit is designed to protect those in authority and those in authority families a certain class of people it's even bigger than that 
These people having bad birth defects and shit. They having kids with little arms and uneven arms. There's a lot of ancestral stuff going on with them. You know, they they they, they marrying their cousins and having sex with their cousins. You know, a, a lot of people do it. The Amish, the Jews, you know, different people. These people is mar marrying internally. Don't get it twisted. The um the Arabs do it too. They they you know they marry their cousins too and all that funny stuff. You know, but um yeah, this is like there's a bunch of deviant demonic shit going on. I say this people right now while the liberties is still somewhat available. Take up axe throwing, take up archery, shooting arrows and stuff like that. Go to the range. If you don't got no felonies, purchase firearms. Get a gun license, purchase firearms. You might can't do it in New York as fast because the laws is getting stricter. Go to Atlanta. I got friends that went to Atlanta and got their gun license fast. Go to Arizona. Go to Texas. Texas, you could be a felon and have guns. You could don't have a gun license and have guns. Texas is kind of like a sovereign state. I respect Texas. Um... This agenda is going to keep going on. It's been going on since, I think, um, the Oklahoma bombing, Timothy McVeigh, the, the trench coat mafia, the dudes that shot up the school back in the days and stuff like that. This is going to keep going on, you know, until they try to diminish our gun rights, right? Or put a bunch of restrictions to where we can't get to it. People of ethnicity, but other people will be able to get to it. You know, so y'all got to be on the lookout for that, right? Now, let's talk about the young kids in the hood that are shooting, the gangbangers, and all these drill kids that everybody keep complaining about, you know? If guns kill people, I guess pencils misspell words. Cars drive drunk and spoons make you fat. Right? People and pools drown you. I guess pools drown you. No, people drown. Right? When you deal with common sense and rationalization, right? The guns ain't the problem with these drill kids and everything. You know, the parents are scared of their kids. Mind you, the average parent is young, right? If a kid was born in 2000, he's 22. The year 2000, he's 22, right? Um, a lot of these parents is 15 years older than their kids. I know my mother was 15 years older than me, but my grandparents raised me. So I was raised old school anyway. My grandparents, my grandfather and grandmother raised me. So I was on a different type of protocol in time anyway. But a lot of these kids, their parents is only probably 14 to 20 years older than them because they mothers was thoughts boning at 14 15 sneaking around getting cracked up getting wounded you know what i'm saying and then they fathers was the dudes you know in the late 90s i guess or the, or whatever that was you know drinking 40s and smoking all uh, the haze and sour and and you know drinking all these stupid liquors and all that and you know they have kids you know stupid you know, some of these kids is crack babies. Some of them is dust babies, molly babies. They all type of babies. But um, the parents don't have no control over their kids, right? Back in the days, I did dirt. I sold drugs. I was in the street. I was very respectful to all but There was a protocol with the older niggas and with the elders. And you had to respect your parents and this and this and that. And, and, and people wasn't just deviating. There was order. There was rules and structure, right? But if my grandmother knew, if she knew, she didn't find out to after I caught cases and I was already 19, 20, facing a lot of time. But she was on some real militant shit. If you don't listen to me, you can get the fuck out of my house. These kids' parents are scared to talk to them and admonish them, right? And then they don't really want to threaten the kids and say, oh, get the fuck out of my house then and kick them out because they need the kids. These kids is on the lease, and this the kids is the reason why they got two and three and four bedroom apartments. 
because without the kids, they would have a one bedroom apartment. They probably wouldn't have no apartment. A lot of women had kids just to get apartments. This might sound crazy, but in, in cities like New York and, you know, um, New York City and, you know, a lot of urban cities and Philly. You know, I don't know about Philly because I don't know if they got Section 8 and all that shit out there. But a lot of women in New York City, they had kids so they can get apartments and they can get in shelters and they can get benefits for the government and all that. The kids wasn't, they didn't make these kids out of love. They made these kids out of out of out of out of a necessity or an asset you know to escape poverty or get extra food stamps or extra income tax money and shit like that because a lot of them was one a lot of these chicks was one night stands dudes was crunching them at parties and everything and a lot of dudes didn't want the babies this is why a lot of the fathers ain't around right now you know what i'm saying because the month the chicks was one night stands or slides and stuff like that so you know, the mother don't got no control over the kids. They don't want to kick the kids out because the kids is on the lease. And they know if they kick the kids out, they got to downsize them apartments. And go down to a one or a two bedroom and stuff like that. And it's just a bunch of shit, right? But this is what I think families should do. Because my grandmother used to tell me, boy, you don't want to listen to me. You're going to listen to them white people in jail. You know what I'm saying? Or oh, I could turn your ass over and you can go to the fucking group home or you can go to uh, uh, um, the system. And if you go in a foster home or whatever or a group home, most kids that go there, they become psychologically traumatized. A lot of foster, a lot of kids in foster care raped and molested and turned out and abused and stuff like that. So she used to like, you know, threaten me with that type of stuff. Even though I wasn't scared, but she used to be like, boy, you don't want to listen to me. You're going to listen to them white people. Anyway, if your kids is acting the fuck up and they 15, 16, 17, they gang banging, they drilling, kick they ass the fuck out. People say, oh, I can't kick my kid out. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a parent and they not listening to you and they don't respect you. Send their ass the job call or send them to the authorities. Listen, my son ain't cooperating. He's stressing me the fuck out. Y'all can have him. Y'all can take this nigga because he going to go to jail anyway or die in the street. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and get that burden off your hands. But at the same time, the kid wasn't even, the kid didn't even ask to be here. So a lot of people are going to be like, oh, how the fuck are you going to tell me to kick my kid out and reject my kid? He's not listening to you. Most of these kids are telling their parents suck their dick and they'll smack their parents and all that. They talking crazy to y'all. I'm seeing it on the train and all type of shit. They not respecting y'all and they violating y'all. A lot of y'all kids is bigger than y'all. <laughs> The mothers and the fathers, because a lot of these kids now is tall, like they on steroids and they big, and the daughters are super big, big avalanche oompa loompa and shit like that. If your kids ain't listening to you, send them away, man. Send them to boot camp, send them to pre military school or something. Send their ass the way where they could go get structure, get some type of militancy, and get focused. Because if you don't do that, the streets is gonna take their fucking life. Niggas is going to pop their top off or they're going to go to jail and get violated and broke up. Because a lot of these kids can't fight either. So the guns is not the problem. These kids is the problem and these parents is the problem because they didn't raise these kids up with, with some type of militancy. And, P and these bitches are scared to hit their kids because they like, oh, I don't want an ACS case, so I don't want to go to jail. Whip they fucking ass. My grandmother used to beat the shit out of me. It's either that or the white man going to take their ass to jail. Or the streets gonna kill him. I'm out of here. Y'all take it how y'all wanna take it. I'm oxygen. Una.